हेलो हेलो माइक टेस्ट Just write the ticker name over here, and on the back end, we are using the free API, so you're not paying anything. I'm actually interested in uh, cash flow statement of Tesla. So yeah, this is the cash flow statement of Tesla. I think it's available for many years since 2007. Hello financial programmers I'm Rithvik Dashora and I'm back with a new video and some new learnings. This is the first video of our new playlist and this one it's on financial modeling prep Python API. As per their website they are the most accurate financial data API and I'm making this video to figure it out. In this video I will cover all the free data aspects of this API and in the next video I will talk about some paid data as well and and in the last video I will cover web Web socket and we'll try to make something on that. But before that, guys, if you are new to my YouTube channel, guys, on this channel I upload videos related to trading bots, exploring some highly valuable finance APIs like this one, making some Pine script trading strategies, and implementation of AI in finance, etc., etc. So if this is something that you are interested in, then just click on the subscribe button and also hit on the bell icon. As I have many more topics in my pipeline that will be covered on this particular YouTube channel. So what are the topics to cover in this video? To simple things first thing is we'll talk about financial modeling prep api and the second is we'll be exploring their documentation and we'll create something great using that so without any further ado let's start so guys this is the website of financial modeling prep which is financial modeling prep.com and you'll see they cover a lot of stuff like latest news um discounted cash flow model um, some insights about the market they have some educational content as well and this is something that i am interested in which is api docs i will talk about it in uh, some time but before that let's explore what other things are available on this particular platform so they provide uh, most searched tickers gainers losers currencies cryptocurrencies sector performance which is industry performance and other things as well so yeah it looks quite interesting and uh, let's jump to the api docs here guys it asked me to sign up i just signed up uh, with one of my email address and uh, yes so this is the api documentation of financial modeling prep i will provide this link in the description box for you and as i mentioned they quote themselves as the most accurate financial data api they provide free stock data historical data financial statements etc just below this one which is your details you will find your api key so you just copy and paste it and store it somewhere for the coding purpose right So this is the first thing which is stock fundamentals right and i think they have the direct url through which we will extract the information so if we click on this particular link you'll see the output yeah perfect so we have a url and then we'll be extracting information through the url this is my api key which i will definitely change after recording this video uh, and the main idea here is to use this particular url and then eventually using requests library to extract financial data uh, in python perfect let's come back to our documentation so we have things like on the left hand side you can see stock fundamentals stock fundamentals analysis institutional stock ownership oh that's something very interesting here let's let me just click here i don't think they will provide it for free yeah for this i'll have to upgrade it to the premium one anyways i will do it just after this video because the second video will be about the paid version only let's see esg score is i think again something which will be covered in the premium yeah subscription and then the price target uh, upgrades downgrades etf and mutual funds holdings right employees and uh, executive compensation stock calendars that's good company information stock news that's amazing i'm 100% sure it would be a part of the paid version only so let's see no worries we'll check it later uh other things market performance uh, advanced data stock statistics insider trading again this would be paid only senate trading economics stock price fund holdings web socket this is something that i will cover in the last video uh, stock list bulk and batch this is very helpful when we create uh, a trading bot on multiple stocks right so using this basically we can create api requests on multiple tickers so for example this is one is a batch request where we are doing we are extracting the stock news on apple facebook and google and amazon um so yeah market indices euronex tcx and crypto forex and commodity so they have a lot of data to be honest and if they quote themselves as the most accurate then i think it's good 
it's like the one stop solution for us so i'll start with the first one i'm 100% sure the company financial statements would be free let's see if i click on this particular link yeah so this data is available for free let me just copy this particular link and let's come back to our code i'm using google collab for writing this code you can use any other platform as well url is this particular and uh, let's just provide it as string now i'll have to make this url customized for different things so for in this example i'm, I'm actually extracting income statement of apple and this is the api key right so let's just uh, uh, import request library because i'll be using requests library to extract the data also let's Get, uh, let's import the pandas library import pandas as pd this particular url would be the base url right so i'll just write base url here let's just provide it inside uh, the string which is single or double inverted comma and here we let's provide f string and let me just change this to base url right this is income statement right i'm sure that this would be changed if we extract some other information so for example if i just uh, click on balance sheet then yeah i have balance sheet statement here in the url so let's just come here and let's see the data type is equal to in this case i'm just let's just copy and paste it this one which is income statement right and replace this to data type ticker is apple right inside this ticker limit is 120 i will delete this part because i don't require it api key this is my api so i'll just write api key is equal to this one which i'll be changing after recording this video uh, anyways it's a free api you can get it for free so i'll just write api and then key it looks great now uh, let's see if i just uh, write url and hit enter then i should be getting the url that will have all the information okay so, so this is the url i'll just copy this uh, and just let's uh, paste it here yeah perfect so this is exactly the same url that will give me uh, the entire uh, income statement of apple right so now let's use uh, the requests library which is response is equal to requests dot get I'm, I'm actually doing the get request here and then url right now let's convert this into json format so response dot json let's hit enter if i write data and uh, hit enter you'll see the entire in an income statement in front of us the last one is uh, is dated as of september 2022 yeah. it's not september 2023 as of now as per the today's date so yeah the last one is this one let's see how many items are there inside this particular list there are five items so the data is of last five years that's so what i'll do is the data frame is equal to pd dot data frame and then inside this i will provide data let's see what is date df now perfect so this is df where we have all the line items in as a column header so i'll have to transport uh, transpose it so i just write dot t here and let's see what's the result now i want them as a row header exactly like this one so you can see that on the left hand side we have all the line items which is the type of data here and then on the right hand side uh, on the columns you'll see the data that we have which is the first one which is ninth which is September 2022, then September 2021, and so on. So yeah, all this information is available. Things like operating expense, cost and uh, expenses, revenue, cost of revenue. And I think the, the last line would be net income. Yeah, here we have the net income. Oh, that's great. They have actually provided a link of SEC filing as well. Right, that's great. Just to provide the additional um, validation of the data. That's great okay let's come to see what other things are available here but just uh, before that guys i have a very important information to share recently i launched a course on uh, python for financial programming so if you are trying to learn python for finance from scratch then this is something that you might be interested in just go to my website which is fpritvik.com python over here you will see two buttons indian candidates non-indian candidates so you can click as per your uh, location it will redirect you to this the main website where the entire course information is available you'll see that uh, there are five sessions 10 chapters 22 videos 10 quizzes and three assignments with two live projects and uh, uh, this is the entire syllabus of this course for all the people who are interested to learn python from scratch and who are struggling learning python on their own i highly recommend it because uh, it's very very affordable and i have covered a lot of things from a very very simplistic eyesight and in the 
the end in session four and five you'll see stock analysis and investment portfolio creation projects which are my personal projects we did it using some financial analysis if you use rtk 40 code uh, you'll get an instant 40 percent discount which is only available for the first 100 candidates so yes guys i'll see you in the course let's come back to our code okay so other things that are available um on the free api um, apart from, I think uh, all the three statements are available, which is income statement, um, balance sheet and cash flow. Yeah, cash flow is also available. So I'll just write it here, all the things which are available. So uh, what I'm going to do is just copy and paste it like, like I'll just copy this and then paste it here and it will give me the, the balance sheet, right? So let's see. Yeah, perfect. We have got the balance sheet now, net receivables and so on. So I will actually just make a list of all the different data tables that which are available income statement balance sheet uh, cash flow statement what else if we click on sales sales to sales product segmentation is not available for free no worries let's come back to the api documentation so i'll let me just pause this video for a second i'll um, write down all the things which are available for the free course and we'll come back just one second okay guys so these are all the things which are available for free income statement balance sheet uh, statement cash flow statement income statement growth balance sheet statement growth, cash flow statement growth, ratios, which is trailing 12 months, ratios, uh, financial growth, quote, which is basically the pricing information, enterprise value, key metrics, TTM, key metrics, rating, historical rating, discounted cash flow model, historical discounted cash flow statement, historical chart for different time intervals, for example, one minute. Discounted cash flow model, which is DCF uh, model, a very important and useful model for valuation. So this is as per the DCF, uh, the, the price should be 193.9. Right now, the current price is 192. So these are all the different things which are available for free on financial modeling prep. And guys, uh, while researching for the different types of data which is available for free, I actually created one code on Visual Studio. Uh, basically, I'm using Streamlit here to make it look better than uh, the Google Colab, which is this one, because in this case, I have to copy and paste it again and again here. And here I have just provided it as a select box. You can just uh, write this uh, code uh, on Visual Studio and use it or if you want to get this particular code i'll be saving this code on my google drive how to get a google drive access or my already existing subscribers know already if you are my new viewer then just wait for five minutes perfect so what we do here is uh, i'll just write streamlet run fmp underscore video one this is the file name basically product.py let's press enter Will automatically open a web application now if you guys are facing any difficulty i have made an entire playlist on how to use streamlit and uh, it's a very very useful web application so basically here uh, just write the ticker name over here and it will do everything uh, and again as i mentioned on the back end we are using the free api so you're not paying anything to make this particular uh, web application you can deploy this web application to some other platforms as well if you want okay so i'll just write the uh, ticker name for example apple or well, let's do tesla right tsla and let's I, i'm actually interested in uh, cash flow statement of tesla cash flow statement growth of tesla perfect so yeah this is the cash flow statement growth of tesla and uh, i think it's available for many years since 2007 right um, if you are interested in something else for example i'm let's see uh, enterprise value then yeah, it has given me the enterprise value where markets, uh, market capitalization, number of shares, enterprise value, etc. of Tesla in the uh, last, I think, 15 years, 15 or something, 15, 16 years. Perfect. So yeah, the VS Studio code, which is this particular code will be saved on my Google Drive. And not only this code, there are many more codes of, uh, saved on my Google Drive, like my personal trading bot and some Pine Script strategies. And in order to become a Google Drive community member, just come to my channel and click on the access to my Google Drive button. And over there, you just follow some basic steps uh, in order to get the access of my Google Drive. You can see that it's very, very affordable uh, it costs less than a third of a coffee price and this is something that I'm charging because I have recently hired an intern to provide the best possible service to all my community members. If you liked even one thing about this video then guys just click on the like button down below it really helps with the algorithm and also subscribe to my youtube channel to not miss out on the future content for free. In the next video I'll be talking about more aspects of this particular library and uh, I will actually buy the paid version of this API because I'm very interested to explore more things here and let's see if we can make some 
something great for freelancing inquiries you can reach out to me on this email address and the link of my course on python for financial programming is in the description box thank you so much for watching this video till the end you can click here to subscribe to my youtube channel and over there you'll see the entire playlist which covers these three videos on financial modeling prep and over there you'll see the most recent video that i uploaded keep watching keep learning and i'll see you very very soon peace